is Terrence Van, aka Terrenceism. Um, I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. I'm an artist, painter, muralist, illustrator, designer, thinker, a black man, and somebody with locks. You know, I've been doing art for a long time. Um, I actually started with music, but then like towards the end of high school, I started to get into art and it just kind of stayed with me. So it's it's been, I guess, 10 years since I, 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 I took started the journey. I was doing graffiti actually. So I, I was like really heavy into graffiti. And um, you know, it's, it's crazy because a lot of graffiti artists are like super talented and um, like really creative people. So I was around a lot of creative people, uh, but I was just kind of taking it in, the, in a different direction. Um, so I was, I was going to school up in New York uh, at a school called School of Visual Arts. It was just like a lot of rich white kids. And it, it, it really took away my appreciation for art because I saw how like these kids were getting internships and they were getting all this stuff. and. Everything was so expensive and and pretentious, you know what I mean? I was like, this ain't for me, man. You know, I was like, this ain't this ain't the scene for me. I already spent like 75K for one year of school. You know what I mean? So I was like, there's no way I'm about to keep paying this. And I and New York's art scene was just it just seemed so pretentious at that time, you know, before it really opened up and got more independent. So I was just discouraged. I, you know, I had the talent. My teachers thought I had talent and all that, but um, I was the only black kid in my in like my entire class. Nobody was telling me how to make money. So I was just like, man, I need to make some money. So I, I got up out of there and got into web design of all things. You know. So when I, I after I graduated and got a web design degree and. Uh, I ended up getting a job the day after I graduated. It was crazy. And I started working like two weeks after that. So I just went right into it, to this corporate job. And uh, about a year into working into this job, I was like, man, I'm just like, I'm just like a robot in here. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm easily replaceable. Long story short, I was, I was dissatisfied, man. Like, I, it was just churn and burn. You know what I mean? It just made me feel like I was just not even alive. So what what I ended up doing, we had all this paper though. We had tons of paper and everybody had like tons of uh, highlighters. So there was all these highlighters and Sharpies everywhere. And so I got a stack of paper and I was like, man, I'm gonna do a sketch every single day. And I just started sketching during my 15 minute break, 15, 30 minute break. And you know, after a while I had like a, literally a stack of sketches like this, it was crazy. And everybody in the office started to know cause they would walk by on their way to the break room and be like, hey man, what you working on? And I'm like, you know, chill man, don't worry about this. You know, I'm just doing my little thing. But it got so crazy, everybody in the office, you know, then they want me to draw their name or like, oh, can you draw something for my kid? And I'm like, okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. But um, then I had like a hundred sketches that were like fire. I was like, wow, you know, like it came back. I, like I was, in, I felt inspired. Like it was, a, it was an actual sensation. Like I felt inspired, like in my stomach. It was, I'll never forget it. And um, I knew it was on. I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And boom, I got right back in the painting, like right at that time. And uh, like three or four months later, I made a book out of all those sketches. So I had like 50 sketches that I ended up boiling it down to. I made a book out of it called Killing Time because my job had uh, Photoshop. So I made the whole book on company time, which was, I was proud of myself for that. Uh, and then I would go home and just start painting. I was like, all right, I'm, I'm in this now. You know what I mean? This is it because uh, it seemed, it, it, at the time it seemed like I had no other option but to just get back into it. But I would just describe it as just like an extension of myself in a way. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty versatile guy. Uh, I'm a colorful dude at times. And like my art really does reflect like my essence in a way. 
Um, but you know, it's, it's definitely tied into graffiti, you know, um, tied into just being black. You know, that's, that's a huge part of it. Spontaneous and um, real. I had already knew I was gonna quit my job. So I was already looking for other jobs and all, you know, everything like that. And the art thing, like I used to put, since I was doing graffiti, like I was never really on Instagram or social media like that because like you kind of have to be uh, like anonymous or whatever. So then once I got into my job and I was like, oh, I'm not a graffiti artist anymore. I started posting it to Instagram and I was like, oh, people actually like this, like it was crazy. I just didn't really think of it that way. So then once I saw that, I was like, man, I'm gonna have an art show. And uh, a series of events just led up to me having an art show that were like way outside of my control. And that's how I knew it was definitely, I, it was my purpose to do this. And I had an art show and like 200 people showed up and like my mind was pretty much blown because I was like, no one had ever taught me how to do an art show. I, I just kind of put it together on what I thought I would want to see, you know what I mean? And once I saw those people show up, I sold out of all my prints, sold out of all my books. And I was like, oh, I'm, this is it. I'm, this, this is a, it, I don't even need to have a job. I didn't know you could make money like that. I think I made like almost two grand my first show. I was like, what? This is more than a check I got in my job. So I was like, okay. I had my first show in February and I quit my job in November of that same year. So I, I just was like grinding, saving money. And I was like, pew. Well, one thing, I want to be the first artist with art on the moon. That's one thing I want to do. Um, like specifically with my art. Um, I just want to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff, man. I want to do murals. Uh, me and my fiance, we started a company that's, um, you know, hopefully can open up more, more like channels for artists. You know what I mean? So just making it easier for other artists, being like a pioneer, um, traveling the world, you know what I mean? Shaking hands with world leaders and stuff like that, just because the art, um, hopefully impacts the people so much. Cause you know, somebody's, I, no, actually I read in a book that, you know, if, if someone can create like a universal image, it can change the whole world. And I, and I always think about that. Cause it's like, as painters, we're creating something that's not there. You know what I mean? It doesn't exist. So if I can create something that the whole world can recognize and make them think about something larger than themselves and think about peace to everybody out there that has locks keep them going you know what i mean keep them going strong and uh love what you do love yourself and, and you know just be creative out there man and uh and check out my artwork at terrencism you know what i mean i got some flavors for y'all um and it's all natural it's all natural